What if I told you that America once built a fighter jet so advanced, so ahead of its time, that even today, 34 years later, it still looks like science fiction? A jet that was faster than the F-22, stealthier than the F-35, and designed to dominate the skies before its rivals even knew it was there. That jet was the YF-23 Black Widow, and in 1991, it lost a competition it should have won. The world moved on, the program was buried, and the engineers who built it were forced to watch their masterpiece disappear into the shadows. But here's the twist, the Black Widow never really died. In 2025, classified documents and stunning concept art revealed something jaw-dropping. The Navy's brand new sixth generation fighter looks almost identical to the YF-23. This isn't just a comeback, this is revenge. And by the end of this video, you'll see why the jet that once lost everything may soon rewrite the future of American air power. April 23rd, 1991. The Pentagon announces the winner of the most important fighter jet competition in modern history, the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program. The crowd erupts as Lockheed's YF-22 is declared the victor. But in the corner of the room, the Northrop engineers sit in stunned silence because they knew something the public didn't. Their jet, the YF-23 Black Widow, was faster, stealthier, and capable of doing things no other aircraft on Earth could match. On paper, it wasn't just better. It was decades ahead of its time. The Black Widow was the only prototype that could supercruise, fly faster than the speed of sound without afterburners. It had a longer range, sharper stealth, and a futuristic diamond wing design that made it nearly invisible to radar. Compared to the competition, it was like a spaceship dropped into 1991. So why did it lose? Not because of performance, not because of capability. The truth was far more frustrating. Lockheed had powerful allies in Washington while Northrop was still haunted by scandals from the 1980s. The decision wasn't made in the skies, it was made in the boardroom. And with that, the most advanced fighter jet America had ever built was grounded before it had the chance to prove itself. For the engineers who poured their lives into the YF-23, it was a bitter ending. But they never forgot what they created. They held on to the designs, the lessons, and the belief that one day, the Black Widow's time would come. For three decades, the YF-23 lived in the shadows, parked in museums, remembered only by aviation fanatics, and whispered about as the jet that should have been. Most assumed it was a forgotten relic of the Cold War. But in August 2025, the silence broke. Northrop Grumman quietly released concept art for the Navy's F-A-20 program, the most classified fighter development in US history. And the world couldn't believe what they saw. The nose? Identical to the Black Widow, the cockpit, nearly a carbon copy. The overall shape, unmistakably YF-23 DNA. This wasn't coincidence, it was deliberate. The very same engineers who designed the YF-23 in the late 80s were now feeding its lessons into America's next generation carrier fighter. For them, this wasn't just another contract, this was unfinished business. After 34 years, the Black Widow was back not as a museum piece, but as the blueprint for the Navy's future. What had once been dismissed as too advanced had become exactly what America needed to face the dangers of the 21st century. And this comeback couldn't have come at a more critical time, because the skies over the Pacific are about to become the most dangerous battlefield on Earth. In the early 1990s, China's most advanced fighter was little more than a copy of a Soviet design from the 1960s. Fast forward to today, and the picture couldn't be more different. The J-20 Mighty Dragon now prowls the skies, stealthy, fast, and armed with long-range missiles designed to threaten US carriers. Even more alarming, China is developing multiple sixth-generation fighters, some purpose-built for aircraft carriers. The balance has shifted. For the first time since World War II, America's dominance of the skies is under serious challenge. This is where the Black Widow's DNA becomes critical. The original YF-23 wasn't built for short-range dogfights. It was designed for the Pacific Theater. Long range to reach distant targets, stealth to penetrate heavy defenses, and speed to strike before the enemy could react. The Navy's new F-A-20 program needs exactly those qualities. Operating in the South China Sea means going up against some of the densest anti-aircraft systems in the world, plus enemy fighters patrolling around the clock. One mistake in that arena isn't just costly, it could start a war. 
That's why the F-A-20 isn't just another fighter. It's America's insurance policy, built to ensure that carrier groups can survive and project power in the most dangerous airspace on Earth. But making that insurance a reality requires more than resurrecting an old design. It means fusing the Black Widow's proven strengths with the most advanced technology of the 21st century. The YF-23 was already a marvel in its day, but three decades of innovation have turned its foundation into something truly next level. Imagine taking a Formula One car from 1991 and upgrading it with today's engines, electronics, and materials. That's what the Navy is doing with the Black Widow's DNA. Stealth redefined. The original jet was nearly invisible to radar in the early 90s. Now, with advanced composites, radar absorbing coatings, and redesigned inlets, the FA-20 will be almost ghost-like even against the newest detection systems. Engines with power to spare. New propulsion systems aren't just about thrust. They generate unprecedented electrical power. That means the FA-20 can run high energy sensors, cooling systems, and even directed energy weapons without compromising performance. Brains as sharp as its wings. Inside the cockpit, the pilot won't fly alone. An AI co-pilot will manage data overload, predict enemy moves, and even command drone squadrons like a quarterback calling plays. It's not man versus machine. It's man with machine. Networking the battlefield. Where the YF-23 once flew solo, the FA-20 will be a hub in the sky, sharing data instantly with satellites, ships, and ground forces. One jet becomes the nerve center of an entire fleet. The result? A fighter that doesn't just inherit the Black Widow's speed and stealth, but enhances them with futuristic capabilities the original engineers could only dream about. But in a race this critical, it's not just about technology, it's about competition. And the battle to build the Navy's next fighter is heating up fast. The Navy's F-A-20 program isn't just about building a fighter jet, it's about deciding the future of American air power. And the competition to win that contract is fierce. On one side, Northrop Grumman, the company behind the YF-23 Black Widow, the B-2 Spirit, and the cutting-edge B-21 Raider. They bring unmatched stealth expertise and the legacy of the jet that should have won in 1991. For Northrop, the F-A-20 is redemption, proof that the best design eventually rises to the top, even if it takes 34 years. On the other side, Boeing, builder of the F-A-18 Super Hornet, a workhorse of carrier decks for decades. Boeing recently won the Air Force's F-47 program, giving them momentum and influence. For them, the F-A-20 isn't just an opportunity, it's survival. Without this contract, Boeing's fighter division could fade into history. The stakes couldn't be higher. We're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars, tens of thousands of jobs, and most importantly, the aircraft that will guard America's carriers for the next 50 years. This is more than a defense contract, it's a showdown between two visions of air dominance. Will the Navy choose the ghost of the Black Widow, updated for a new century, or the trusted lineage of Boeing's fighters? Whichever side wins, one thing is certain. The decision will shape the skies over the Pacific for generations to come. The YF-23 may have lost its battle in 1991, but its influence never truly disappeared. In fact, you can trace its fingerprints across every American stealth aircraft that followed. The B-2 Spirit Bomber borrowed lessons from its radar-evading shape. The F-22 Raptor inherited ideas about supercruise and agility at supersonic speeds. Even the F-35 Lightning II carries echoes of the Black Widow's design philosophy. In other words, the jet that never made it to production still shaped an entire generation of American air power. And now, that legacy is being reborn. Not as scattered influences, but as a complete design brought back to life. The F-A-20 doesn't just honor the Black Widow. It carries its DNA into the 21st century, upgraded with the technology its creators always imagined but never had the chance to build. For the engineers who once watched their masterpiece slip away, this is more than just a project. It's vindication, proof that they were right all along that sometimes the world has to catch up to a great idea. The Black Widow lost the spotlight in the past, but in the skies of tomorrow, its legacy could finally take center stage. So what does the comeback of the YF-23 Black Widow really mean? It means that no idea is ever truly gone. The jet that once lost everything, 
dismissed as too advanced, too ambitious, has returned as the foundation of America's most important fighter program in decades. Back in 1991, the Black Widow was ahead of its time. Today, the world has finally caught up. And now, its rebirth as the F-A-20 isn't just a fascinating twist in aviation history, it could be the difference between winning and losing the skies of the future. The Black Widow lost the battle, but three decades later, it may win the war. But what do you think? Is the return of the YF-23 proof that the best designs never die? Or is the future going to belong to something even more radical, like swarms of drones and autonomous aircraft? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see what might replace even the F-A-20, yes, the race for seventh generation air power has already begun, click the video on your screen now. Trust me, you won't believe who's leading that race. When you first see the F-A-20 concept art, it doesn't look like a fighter jet. It looks like a predator. Sleek, sharp, almost alien in its design. The diamond-shaped wings stretch wide, blending seamlessly into the body, like the edge of a razor blade. The fuselage is smooth and seamless. No bumps, no exposed weapons, just pure aerodynamic flow. The cockpit is low and tinted, giving the pilot the appearance of wearing a visor straight out of science fiction. The tail surfaces are angled and minimal, designed not to be seen by radar, but to cut through the sky like a knife. Even the engine exhausts are hidden deep within the airframe, shrouded to reduce heat and infrared signatures. From a distance, it doesn't look like a jet. It looks like a shadow slicing across the horizon. It's not just beautiful. Every curve, every angle, every hidden seam is built with one purpose, to stay invisible until it's too late. A fighter jet is only as powerful as the weapons it carries, and the F-A-20 is designed to bring an arsenal that belongs to the future, not the past. Internal missile bays. Like the F-22 and F-35, the F-A-20 hides its weapons inside the fuselage, keeping its stealth profile razor sharp. Expect it to carry advanced long and short range air-to-air -air missiles, some with ramjet engines for extreme reach. Next gen strike power. Beyond dogfights, the F-A-20 will be able to launch cruise missiles designed to sink ships or obliterate bunkers from hundreds of miles away. This isn't just a fighter, it's a strike platform. Directed energy weapons, the real game changer. Engineers envision high energy lasers mounted directly on the aircraft, capable of frying incoming missiles or drones at the speed of light. Imagine a dogfight where one flash of light decides the outcome. Loyal wingmen. The F-A-20 won't fly alone. It will command swarms of unmanned drones, scouts, jammers, decoys, even kamikaze attackers. Losing one doesn't cost a pilot's life, but it buys priceless seconds in battle. The F-A-20 is less a lone wolf and more a pack leader. Put it all together and you get a fighter that isn't just a jet. It's the nerve center of an entire digital war machine. Now imagine the skies of 2035. A US carrier group sails through the Pacific shadowed by enemy radar and long-range missiles. Tensions are high. One wrong move could start a war. Suddenly, the first wave is launched. Not manned jets, but autonomous decoys. They flood the battle space, tricking enemy defenses into firing too soon. Dozens of missile trails streak across the sky, but the real strike hasn't even begun. Then, from high above, the F-A-20 appears. Silent, unseen. Its stealth allows it to slip past radar while its pilot and AI co-pilot scan the battle space in milliseconds. At a gesture, the F-A-20 unleashes its loyal wingmen. Swarms of drones scatter ahead, some jamming, some scouting, others primed to sacrifice themselves if needed. Enemy fighters scramble to intercept, but the F-A-20 doesn't flinch. Its sensors fuse every signal into a single picture, giving the pilot godlike awareness. A warning flashes, missiles inbound. The F-A-20 shifts power, its systems cooling the exhaust, while a directed energy weapon fires, burning the incoming threat out of the sky. And then, with the path clear, the Black Widow's descendant does what it was always meant to do. Strike and vanish. A storm of long-range missiles tear through the night, crippling targets before the enemy even knows what happened. Within seconds, the F-A-20 and its drone fleet are gone, leaving nothing but silence in the air. This isn't science fiction. It's the future the Navy is racing to build, where the ghost of a jet from 1991 becomes the weapon that decides the battles of tomorrow.